In this video, I'll walk you through a step-by-step -step process on how to make a coloring book in Canva and upload it to Amazon KDP. By the way, my name is Amanda. I'm a designer and digital product creator, and I help people turn simple designs into passive income using tools like Canva and platforms like Amazon KDP. Make sure to subscribe if you wanna see more videos like this. So before we jump into KDP, I actually wanna to check to see how big most coloring books are. So this particular coloring book is eight and a half by eight and a half inches, and that looks like the common format. So now that we have our size, let's jump into KDP and make sure we get the correct size for our Canva file. So we're gonna go down under book formatting and look up the trim size, bleed, and margins for an eight and a half by eight and a half design. And our design will include a bleed, which basically means the images or graphics, mostly on the cover, will bleed off to the edge. So if you see over here, this particular example shows a bleed with an image bleeding edge to edge, and the image directly to the left shows an image without bleeds. So you could see the margins, that padding between each of the edges. So because of that, we're going to select the page size with the bleed, which is 8.625 by 8.75. So before we jump into Canva, we also need to make sure we have the correct margins. So scroll down and you will see page count. So our book will be under 150 pages and the margins are 0.375 inches on all sides. Now let's jump into Canva and create our document. So create a new design in Canva and under custom design, we're gonna select inches under units and it's going to be 8.625 by 8.75. So first let's turn our rulers and guides on. So go up to file settings, show rulers and guides. And this way we could easily click and drag guides on the document. So that way we can make sure our margins are correct. So I'm gonna show you a little shortcut. So I'm gonna press R to activate a square. Then under position, change the width and height to the margin size, which is 0.375 by 0.375 inches, and it just rounds it up to 0.38. Then place that square at the top left corner, then click and drag over that ruler, and a guide will appear. So we're going to snap that at the edge of the square. And once we're done, delete that rectangle, go to File, Settings, Lock Guides. So this way, as we click and drag everywhere, the guides won't be disturbed. All right, now that our document is ready, let's start generating our AI illustrations. So under Elements, under AI Generator, select Generate Your Own. And I'm going to first try out Canva's Magic Media and see how it produces the illustrations. So first select the graphics tab, and then I'm going to add my prompt. So feel free to pause if you want to copy this. I also left the prompt in the description below, and then make sure your dimensions are one-to-one. -one. And then under styles, I'm gonna select monoline, then click generate graphics. So it's going to take a few moments to generate four different options. So if you're interested in one, you can click on it and it will add it directly to your design. I'm not really a fan of this illustration. So now I'm actually going to go into ChatGPT and add the prompt there to see how it turns out. Okay, so I really like this version. It looks more like a coloring book illustration. It did add this border, but I also like the flowers. It looks better than Canva's generation. Keep in mind, each illustration will look different even if you use the same prompt. So it might not look exactly like this for you. Let's hop back into Canva. This time I'm going to add a border with rounded edges. I don't wanna use the border from the AI generated graphic in case they each come out inconsistent. I'm going to change this to a black outline with rounded edges that align to the guides. Let's upload the graphic and I'm going to crop out that border. You can remove the border on your next prompt when you look for another animal illustration. Okay, that looks super cute. Head back into ChatGPT and replace the word cat with a different animal each time to generate multiple illustrations. Okay, so I created lots of illustrations and now I'm gonna start adding them to the design. If some of your illustrations come out with a gray or cream color background, you can select background remover. You can also adjust any gray outlines or white fuzziness by selecting the illustration, going to edit, then adjust. Here you can adjust the saturation, the blacks and whites, as well as the contrast to get that crisp black outline. 
Okay, so I went in and added all of my illustrations. So for KDP coloring books, you want the left page to be blank and the right page to have the illustration. This way, when someone colors the page, it won't seep as much. The very first page in the book will be on the right when someone opens the cover. Here we can add text and some lines so someone can write their name inside the book. So this is the exact order the pages should be organized in your design. Now that the internal pages are done, let's design the cover. In order to get the correct cover template size, let's go back to KDP. And under book formatting in the sidebar, select format your paperback, select the calculator link under download a cover template, then fill out the form. Select paperback, black and white, white paper, left to right for direction, and inches. Select the trim size, which is 8.5 by 8.5 inches. Add your page count, then click Calculate Dimensions and Download Template. Then create a new design doc in Canva. The cover template includes the exact sizing, which is 17.480 inches by 8.75 inches. Add the template to the design. This way we can drag out guides to make sure everything is aligned. I like to delete the template after I add the guides. Now for the fun part, let's design the cover. So I wanna select one of the illustrations and colorize it for the cover. Drag the image into ChatGPT and ask to colorize it. This way we can include a colorful design to the cover. Let's remove the background so we can add our own color to the design. I'm gonna go with the original blue that was in the background, but I wanna lighten it up just a bit. Now let's add the title. I'm thinking of calling it Animal Cuties, cause why not? I wanna use a fun and playful font since it's a kid's coloring book. So I'm using Lilita One. Add some fun effects like a thick outline to make the text pop. I'm also going to add the curved text effect to frame the illustration. Then I'll add the subtitle at the bottom. I'm also going to colorize a few more illustrations to add next to the cat. Now let's design the back. At the top, I'm going to write a coloring book for kids. I also want to include some previews of the illustrations on the back. So I'm gonna pull in some of the pages, then add a subtle shadow. I'll duplicate these five more times. Then click and drag the other pages onto the duplicates. You can tilt the illustrations to add this fun and playful look. Finally, I'm gonna write, take a peek inside along with a little arrow. Now my cover and back cover are completed. Now that our design is done, let's save it as a PDF. Go to share at the top right, select download, then select PDF print under file type. If you have Canva Pro, select CMYK under color profile. This is best for print designs. Let's hop back into our interior page designs and save this as PDF print and CMYK. Now it's time to get it printed. Go to kdp.amazon.com and sign up for an account. Once you've signed up, you can click the create button and start the process. Select paperback. Then add your book title. I'm going to write animal cuties in the title and coloring book under the subtitle. You don't need to select series or edition number. Under author, you can use your own name or you can put a pen name, it's really up to you. Write your description. I usually like to go into ChatGPT, give it some information about the coloring book, that the sizing amount of pages, and even age range. Then I'll paste that into the description. Under publishing rights, select I own the copyright. Select no under explicit images. Under categories, select the drop down. Select children's books, then animals for the subcategory. I'm going to select farm animals for the next one. Select nonfiction. For keywords, you can go into ChatGPT and ask it to list long tail keywords for your book. Long tail keywords aren't as broad and they help target your audience in search. I'm gonna paste those. Then select save and continue. On the next page, select assign ISBN. This will generate your own ISBN number. Then click on black and white interior with white paper. Under trim size, click on select a different size. Select 8.5 inches by 8.5 inches. You want to make sure bleed PDF only is selected under bleed settings and glossy is selected under cover finish. Now let's upload our PDF designs under upload manuscript, upload the interior page PDF we created in Canva. Then under book cover, select upload a cover you already have. 
This is where we will upload our book cover. Under AI generated content, we will select yes, then under text, select none. Under images, select many AI generated images with minimal or no editing. If you downloaded illustrations from ChatGPT, add DAL E. If you downloaded them from Canva, add Canva. Select none under translations. Click launch previewer. This is going to launch a preview of the cover and interior pages so we can make sure everything is placed correctly. I usually double check to make sure everything looks okay and nothing is cropped off. Once everything looks good, click approve. Then it's going to give you a breakdown of the cost of printing on Amazon's side. Keep this in mind when setting your cost on the next page. Click save and continue. Keep all territories selected. If you take a look under list price, it says minimum $4.75. You will want to price it higher to make a profit. You can add numbers in here to calculate the amount of profit you will get, which are showcased here on the right side. I usually like to see what my competitors are charging to get a better idea of the price point. Down here is a proof request. You can click on this if you want a printed proof mailed to you before you post it for sale. Those proofs always come with a proof sign on the cover. So keep that in mind. Once everything looks good, click publish your paperback book. Amazon will take about 72 hours to review your book and make sure it's within their guidelines. If you're interested in learning how to create KDP planners, make sure to subscribe. I'll be releasing those soon.